If you've watched any of the Monkey Tools videos that I have in my Using Monkey Tools series, you'll know that I put a very high value on building user interfaces that are preferably no code or at minimum very low code to use. The tool that I'm about to introduce right now is not one of those. This is very much a pro code tool. As a matter of fact, this was built for my use and when I originally released Monkey Tools, it had it in it and I thought, you know what, I'll pull it out because nobody's ever gonna use this. And immediately I got calls back from developers saying, what did you do with that DMV sleuth? It was really useful. But you gotta be the right class of person for it. So if you don't know SQL, if you're not interested or don't understand what a concept is of a dynamic management view to query a data model, this tool's not gonna be for you. If on the other hand, you are a pro coder, well, you might find this a little bit useful because it's gonna save you having to go through and actually spin up a whole bunch of VBA code in order to apply your DMV signature in order to extract the data. So let's take a look at what I mean by this. I'm gonna to go to model sleuth, DMV sleuth. We're gonna pop this open and what you notice is that we have two DMV collections that we can enumerate. The system discovered DMV is what we use to interrogate a power pivot model. We also have the TM schema DMVs here as well. Now TM schema cannot be used against Power Pivot, but it can be used against Power BI. And Monkey Tools can connect to a PBIX file and use these to interrogate the um, PBIX via the DMV. Now I'm gonna keep this to the Excel for Power Pivot side right now, so we're gonna go back to Discover. The other thing that you should know about the DMVs that are listed here is that I found a very comprehensive list of DMVs and I added them all to it. That doesn't mean that they necessarily all work with Power Pivot. I just wanted to make sure that none were gonna be missed if there was a specific one that you used for your purposes. It should be in here. And if you find one that isn't, please let me know so that I can get it added for you. Now, how does this work? Well, if I click on Calc Dependency, we're gonna give a new target worksheet name. You can update that if you want to. And we drop in the um, SQL code in order to be able to go and interrogate the DMV to get all columns. When I hit create, you'll notice that indeed we get all of the columns back from this particular DMV with all of its data. Now, can you modify this to do what you want with it? Absolutely, but as I mentioned, this is a pro coder tool. You're not gonna get any IntelliSense in here for SQL language, I don't have a parser for that one, so you, know, you need to be able to write this, you need to make sure it's valid, make sure that you've got a space between your hard returns if you're playing around with this, because that can mess things up. The second thing that I want you to know about this one here is that these tables are static data. We are using an ADO connection to query the results of the DMV and just landing it in here and turning it into a table for you. There's no refreshability with what you see here. This is a static view. Now, can you use your own queries? Well, absolutely, check this out. We're gonna go and we're gonna grab my DMV. Let me just grab all this and paste it in. So here is a DMV that I went through the process of writing and debugging to get something that was useful for me. This was a development effort that I actually use. When I hit create, you'll notice that it comes back and it gives me a nice clean DMV table for the purposes that I'm actually looking for here. So this was to extract the qualified names of our source tables and columns uh, that we were actually working with in this particular case. So is it a useful tool to the right audience? Yes. If you don't know SQL and you don't know DMVs, this probably isn't for you. But if you do, this is gonna save you the effort of having to go and write a bunch of code to spin up an ADO connection to be able to query the data model, return the results. I've done the hard work for you. There you go, fill your boots, and hopefully it's useful to you. Thanks for watching this episode of Using Monkey Tools. To get your own monkey, visit our website at monkeytools.ca. Or if you subscribe to Skillwave's Self-Service Business Intelligence Academy, you'll get a free annual pro license included with your subscription. And remember, Monkey Tools was developed to support better Excel and Power BI solutions. If you want to learn how to really master these tools, you should definitely check out our full course catalog at skillwave.training.